guys, Miranda, and today I'm here to react to the first episode of Outer Banks. This is a new show that just premiered on Netflix, and as we know, we're all searching for new shows right now. So many shows are ending early, or just we don't know when they're coming back, so like I was really interested to see what this show was going to be about when I first saw it pop up on Netflix. The one thing that does confuse me the most is that it looks like, for all intents and purposes, it should be an Australian show. But just, you see, like, the look, the feel, like, it just seems like there should be Australian accents coming out of their mouths. And the fact that it's set in America is really confusing for me. So, we'll see how that goes. Oh, dear. He looks so much like early, like, late 90s, early 2000s boy, doesn't he? Like, he looks like... He could be in Brink if you just time travel him back to when that was made. Jeez Louise. Is this a thing people do? You just hang out in like abandoned houses? Because I never really thought of it, but it's kind of a cool idea. Like houses that are being built. I mean, it's illegal. It is legal. But like, as far as crimes go, it's small. Why would you be running after them? Like, I would just be like, I don't get paid enough for this. They're clearly asshole teenagers. Also, I love that they have, like, a basically mystery van version of... <laughs> they have the mystery machine, basically. It's really pretty. The Pogues? Aren't those those things from Star Wars that live on the island? Oh, gross! What are you gonna do with all those? Eat them? Like, just right on there? This feels like so summer-esque and I love it since we're probably not going to have a summer this year. We can live vicariously through them. Disappeared at sea? What is this, Nancy Drew? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was like, how do you disappear at sea nowadays? Only three months after? Jeez, I thought they waited like years. Oh, I was wondering how he was getting away with that. Whew, that's a big hurricane. Like, he would call and reschedule it. Um, yeah, I just gotta, you know, like, board up my house and stuff like that. It's okay. Oh, but they're gonna go surfing. This seems smart. What about flying sharks? This is perfect Sharknado weather, and we all know it. Come on, man. I have noticed, because I am a <laughs> very big fan of Shark Week, the rise in, like, documentaries about shark attacks in the Carolinas has gone up in the past few years, so maybe we'll see a shark on the show. I love sharks. I can't believe they went swimming in this, and I can't believe they're actually, like, not drowning <laughs> and getting, like, thrashed around. Is that a bow? I'm sorry. Oh, he just brushes his hair back for it to fall immediately back in. Oh my gosh. See, I, I didn't understand until, like, a very older age why, like, boats sink. Like, I, conceptually, I got why they sink, but I always thought, like, they were just, like, go under like over and stuff like I didn't get that the waves can like tip a small enough boat outer banks it looks like spy kids like early 2000s font and I kind of love it I'm so glad even if it's just one girl I'm glad they have a girl in this group because if this was all just four horny teenage boys I would be throwing up right now like at least she brings some sense to the group it's not perfect because I do feel like there's that stereotype of like all the guys and then one girl oh my gosh but it's better than nothing what did he hit? Oh, well, he's alive. That's better than I thought by now. What did he hit? Is it a shark? A whale? A boat? Oh, it's the boat they s he saw, I bet. Even though, are they on, like, a river right now? Or I'm so confused, because wasn't, like, the boat in the sea? Like, the ocean? What if there's a per- Like, oh, what if there's a person down there? You don't want to find that. Jeez, everyone's picking on Agatha. Oh, they didn't see that? <laughs> it looks like the dude from Big Fat Liar. <laughs> what are you doing here? So that's the guy that was on the boat? Yeah, because generally you don't find boats just sunk without anyone around for it <laughs> or reporting it. Okay, that was just not called for at all. Her name's Wheezy? Did you name her after the band, Weezer? What the frick is that girl doing in the background? Is she, she's whacking birds with a tennis racket. Oh my gosh. 
I kind of love her, but she seems cray. In those jean shorts, too, that no girl would ever want to wear in this weather. He's not okay. I'm gonna bet it was the dude we saw. But did he die from the storm or did something else get him? That's the real question. Look how high his hat is on his head. It's like you just put it right here. Hey. I know you're overwhelmed, but, like, his thing is a little more important than her dog. Okay, well, I appreciate that they at least showed them trying to do the right thing and then it didn't work. As opposed to other things where they would just be like, you know what, screw the right thing. We're just gonna do this. Why would he... If this is the guy that lived on the boat, though, why would he have a motel room if he had, like, a wife with, I would assume, presumably, a house and stuff like that? Why aren't they- I just- why aren't they wearing gloves? I just realized that they're touching everything and this dude is gonna be found dead and then they're gonna find his hotel room and their fingerprints are gonna be over everything. Do you not read or watch any crime things? This is insane. Like, they're touching everything. Well, that's a fat stack of cash right there. Dang. Are those all hundreds? Hundies? I almost said that and then I was like, do not say hundies, Miranda. It's a fat stack of hundies. Okay, I said it. There we go. No! Jump down! Don't just stand there! Jump down! Oh my gosh. They're gonna get caught. Go on the other side of the pole at least. Oh my gosh. This is stressful. Can they slide down the pole or something? How did they know to come here, these cops, anyway? Like, are they looking for scooters specifically or something else? You're too obvious. You're gonna take that money? <laughs> Me too, JJ. I am shocked as well. So we got corrupt officers, it looks like. <gasps> oh, why did you take that? Shite. Okay, there's no way he wouldn't see them looking out. Like, if it was designed differently, like, they were on the other side of the pole, you could convince me, but, like, no way. Or if, like, the window went in more and the wall came out, so they were actually, like, hidden behind something, but, like, I don't get how you wouldn't see them just by, like, sticking your head out. Oh, gosh, this is bad. They're wrapped up in something. Just turn the... Well, it doesn't even matter if you turn the boat in now because your fingerprints are all over this place. I would say they're not in the system, but if DCS is, like, keeping an eye on John B, then they probably do have his fingerprints. Uh-oh. We have conflict. Hey, that's the bird girl. The mice girl? I don't know which one I should identify her as. They should date him and her. They both, like, climb in dangerous shite. <laughs> they're perfect for each other. <gasps> what an a-hole. I'm not even surprised, though. Of course he's an a-hole. Oof. Why did John B just snap? You're supposed to be the level-headed one in this. Or I guess that's what Pope's for, actually. Jeez Louise. I get why he said that, but the way he said that makes it sound like he drowned his dad, and I would just be like, what? <laughs> this is so stupid. Boys are so stupid. Like, fighting in the waves. And why are they fighting like they're freaking wrestlers? I've never seen drunk teenage boys fight this well. Like, they're like going for the sides and stuff. Normally you just tackle and bite. Um, is anyone gonna rush in and try and stop this? Like, they're just like, stop, stop. I'll be like, go and tackle him. Like, stop him. Thank you, JJ. <laughs> now everyone's like, ha! Ah! It's like, um, I'm kind of on JJ's side here. Normally I'm not for the person that, you know, escalates a situation, but no one was stepping in to help that man. How about your boyfriend who was just about to drown someone? No one was doing anything. Yeah, I'm on his side right now. Ooh, is she gonna be mad? Oh, okay. So she knows he did, but she's like, don't ever admit it to anyone. But then they can't go and say that they found the boat, even though people are looking for it. Because they would be like, what'd you find? What'd you see? And it would just get them in, like, even deeper water. Yikes. I hope we can trust her. She seemed like such a nice lady. How did she get there so fast? I thought she was on the thing eating with them. Yeah, this doesn't look suspicious at all. You've got a body-sized bag. I like that they all call her Sarah Cameron. Oh, sure, I'm sure. This has been going on for decades, but because you think it's stupid, I'm sure we can drop it. <laughs> I love her so much. She just needs to dump that boyfriend. I still don't get why everyone's, like, over it. Like, what JJ did was not right, but, like, 
he was killing you that dude. Like, he was literally drowning you. No one was stopping it. <laughs> okay. I know they sound like they're all a little bit in love with her, but she's definitely gonna end up with one of them. I just can't tell which one. If they do a love triangle between her, Sarah, and John B, I will scream. Even though, like I said, this is clearly a show that feels and looks like a mid-2000s, so love triangle would be right on par for everything else with this. Do you see what I mean though about how all this would just seem a little bit more cooler if they had Australian accents? I guess not to people from Australia, but like it, it would just make them seem tougher. Like an Australian accent just makes you seem like rugged, you know? You fought a kangaroo on your way to school. You have koala bears that might be dropping out of trees at any moment. You've seen stuff. Oh no! This is giving me such um, oh what's that game that's like Until Dawn, Man of Medan or something, Man of Medin, something like that. It, it giving me vibes like that because there's a whole scene where you have to do like a diving thing. Oh gosh, he's got a minute. Ah! Hopefully he can hold his breath for long. Oh jeez. If he can just get maybe like, oh, no they'll see him. I was gonna say on the other side of the boat and then like he could take a breath and then go back down but like they'll definitely hear and see him. He can hold his breath for a long time though. He dove down like 10 feet up and down and held his breath before so oh my gosh leave sir go away like you're stressing us all out oh who now <laughs> the slowest boat chase in history look at them turn they're like we got this oh it's the creepy guys oh dear <gasps> they're gonna shoot at them they might not even have anything like how do they know unless they know specifically where the boat went down so they know that if they were over there they probably saw it but like you can't just shoot at people actually work in real life I just feel like I don't know they had a pretty nice boat <laughs> Pope's the only one that's with me that's like uh this is bigger than any of us right now so we should probably be scared for our lives Pope is stressed okay I feel like Pope is all of us and he's probably just gonna get more and more stressed this whole season a compass an empty compass Wait a second, how did your dad's compass end up on a boat and like not even, it couldn't have been accidental because it was like locked up in a weatherproof container. That means his papa's alive though, ah, or actually not alive. <laughs> Either held kidnapped somewhere or probably dead by those people that were trying to kill you. So I really like that first episode. I thought it was very interesting and entertaining. I think like, yeah, the biggest thing is that it just feels like a mid 2000 show and it's somehow taking place in 2020 and still works. Like it's very interesting. I like all the characters thus far. I could see JJ potentially getting on my nerves if he keeps being a dumbass and just doing stupid stuff. If this turns into like a cool little treasure hunt kind of show, I think that'll be really, really cool because I, I haven't watched anything like that really in a long time. So it kind of, it's like got that teen show feel and the essential elements of, you know, like drama and romance and hot people that never wear shirts. But I do feel like the treasure hunt aspect and the setting and stuff like that kind of feels different. So I do like that. And I'm really, really interested to see more of where it goes in the future. So if you have seen this episode, please feel free leave your thoughts about that in the comments also make sure this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and i will see you guys for the next episode bye